God's peace be with you. Being a Christian family involves not only the renewal of a husband and a wife and their children, but also the renewal of the physical environment where they live. This is not only a house, but a home, a place centered on the Lord Jesus. What is the difference between a physical house and a Christian home? It is the difference between a structure merely built by human hands and a place where the Lord Jesus Christ himself makes his residence. It is the difference between a boarding house where the occupants merely eat and sleep and a place where loving and intimate relationships are fostered and nurtured. It is the difference between a situation often caught up in strife and division and an environment of love, peace, and unity. It is the difference between worship of the idols of money, power, pleasure, and the like, and the worship of the one, of the one true God, where the life of the family resolves around Jesus, where the Lord is the first priority. So what are the characteristics of a Christian home? First, it is a center for Christian family living. Such a center is not the school, nor the parish, nor the Christian community a family is affiliated with, though these are important and can be a big help. But it is the Christian family living its life in the Christian home that is to be a domestic church. As church, it is the place where members pray, read and study scripture, undergo teaching and formation, and have fellowship with one another. As such, the home is the place that provides stability for the lives of family members that gives them a real sense of belonging, a place where they can sink their roots. They experience the joy of loving relationships and their hearts can be at peace in spite of the turmoil of the world around them. Second, a Christian home is a center for continuing renewal and formation. It is a school for discipleship. It is where a lot of Christian growth can happen. It is the place where we normally have our personal prayer time, our reading of scripture, and experience loving relationships on a day-to-day -day basis. It is the place where husband and wife practice unilateral, unconditional, and self-sacrificial love. It is the place where children are brought up with the training and instruction befitting the Lord. Third, a Christian home is a center for evangelization. It is the base from which will proceed the work of winning the world for Christ. The home is not just a school, but a training camp. Family members learn that they are not just children of God, not just His servants, but also soldiers in His army that are to engage in the spiritual war that is all around us. In the home, they receive His formation and training. As base, the home is also a rest and recreation area. Coming from out of the daily struggles in the world, the Christian soldier can find comfort and rest in the home. Here he can let down his guard, knowing he is among God's people. Here he can receive encouragement and be revived in his resolve to carry on, despite the difficulties. The home becomes a fortress, a bastion, keeping out the darkness and evil and weariness that are so much a part of the life out in the world. So we see that the Christian home is so very different from other family dwelling places. The basic difference is the Lordship of Jesus over the home. Jesus is at the center of life in the home, and Jesus is the source of our peace and our joy in life. It is He who sustains us by His love. It is He who assures us of His continuing presence and help and care. Amen. God bless you.